This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, so yesterday we mentioned the Gemara in Sukkah and Av Chavtes. The Gemara talks about the fact that a solar eclipse is a bad omen for the nations of the world because they count their calendar based on the sun. And we mentioned very briefly, we'll just speak out again, that the Gemara says it depends on the color of the sun during the eclipse. The Gemara says that if the sun is red, then it means bloodshed will come. If the sun is gray, like sack, it means hunger will come. So it's a frightening thing, because we also mentioned that if the eclipse occurs when the sun is in the west during the afternoon, it's a bad sign for the west, for America. So it's a frightening thing. And that's the reason why we don't make a bracha on the eclipse, because... Uh, it's a simon of, of uh, Peronius. That's what Chaim Knievsky said. That's what Ramosha said. But we have an amazing Chassam Soifer over here who says that a solar eclipse is a simon that it will be a tremendous year of Hatzlacha for Klai Yisrael. How's that? Mm-hmm. So Gemara says, um, the Chassam Soifer is going in the Pasuk, Hashkifa, Mimaoin Kadshecha Min HaShamayim. Look down from your holy abode, from Shamayim, Ubarei Chassam Chal Yisrael, and bless your nation Klai Yisrael. Says the Shla, because of Shla, Remez Lovishas Hasak. Hashkifa is Hasak Yafe. Sackcloth is good. Hashkifa could be read Hasak Yafe. Hashkifa Oisios Hasak Yafe. So, Frektich Samsev, the Tarkin, my Indian Remez, the High Krod, Hasak Yafe, and Mimoin Kachcha. What does it mean? I understand sackcloth. It's a good thing to put on sackcloth and to be humble. But we're talking to Rebbeinu Shalom. We're saying Hasak Yafe. Sackcloth is beautiful, Mimoin Kachcha in the heavens. So we're basically saying when God wears sackcloth, that's a good sign. When does God ever wear sackcloth? Says the Chsam Soifer. The Gemara says in Rosh Hashanah, Davte Zayin Amidbeis Kol Shana, Sharasha, Mitzchilasa, Mesasheres, Besaifa. That a year that's poor in the beginning is wealthy in the end. Why? Because if you're humble in the beginning of the year, You'll be machnia your heart to avinu shema shemayim machniim limal aviyem. Now Chazal say in the second parak of Sukkah that when the sun eclipses, if it turns red, it's a sign of bloodshed. Bezman shacham aloiko pane adoyim lesak. But if the eclipse looks like grayish, like sackcloth, perish Rashi kesamim shchayrim, black stained, then hunger will come to the world. Says Achsam Sofer, like we see this year. Apparently, there was a solar eclipse, and in time of Achsam Sofer, there was a shortage of food. But the Gemara and Sukkah ends off that when Klal Yisrael does with Tzaynish Shal Makoim, we have nothing to be afraid of. Do not be afraid of the signs of heaven. Nimsa says Achsam Sofer. If we see that the sun eclipses and it looks like sackcloth, hu yafe v'toiv lanu. It's a good sign for us. Why? Because here the sun is wearing sackcloth, and we're afraid it's going to bring hunger. So what do we do? Humility. We humble ourselves. We're machni ali benu laavim shvashamayim. Then we're able to tap into the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah that if the beginning of the year or the end of the previous year is humble, it will be wealthy in the end of the year. That's pshat. Hasak Sack is good in the heavens. When God wears sackcloth, is good. When does God wear sackcloth? When He eclipses the sun. When does God ever show a sackcloth from His shamayim? Hainu likoy a solar eclipse. When Hashem does, look at the pasuk. Hasak yafe mimarin kodshcha min hashamayim. Uboich es amcho Yisrael. Hashem brings bracha to Klal Yisrael. Aidei ze uboich es amcho Yisrael ki aidei asiras tefila by our entreaty of prayer. Yishapech hakol toiva. So Marv Rabbi say, even though an eclipse is a very frightening thing, and as we we spoke about, we don't make a bracha because it's a simen ra. But if we're machnia libenu laviim shabbat shemayim, then not only is the solar eclipse not a bad omen. Fakared, it becomes a good omen. It becomes shana shorash mitchilas masashas b'soifa, and that's how you read the pasuk. Hasak yafe when there's a solar eclipse. Man kachcha ubarach es amcha yisrael. So we should talk about zayicha that we should learn the limudim of the eclipse, and we should be zayicha to a year a shnas ashiros and ruchnis and gashas for all of klal yisrael. We should be zayicha to the banisham takes the chama of minartika. 
and he punishes all the Rishoim, the Shemesh, Marpe, Bechnafe, Rishoim Shem Shvi, Marape, all of Klai Yisrael. Shkayach. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.